Every year I find myself looking back, wishing things were how they used to be. But then I sit and remind myself how amazing it's actually been. Let's go! Listen, you read the title. Um, this is very likely going to be the last video I ever post on this channel. And to help you understand why, I'm going to rewind to the start of the year when I was a high school senior waist deep in classwork, when I got arguably the most exciting DM of my life. This was an invitation to something I'd been looking forward to forever, Minecraft Championship. If you aren't familiar with it, MCC is the most prestigious, the most viewed, and in my opinion, the most fun Minecraft event in the history of the game. If you know me at all, you know I'm incredibly competitive, so all I could do for the weeks leading up to it was practice, research, and prepare until the day finally came. I mean, I did all right. Honestly, I was expecting better for myself, but it was still a very fun time and one of only seven MCCs I would end up playing this year. In other news, I played Five Nights at Freddy's in VR for the first time, which was terrifying. I released my matching lunar cloaks with Wally Bear. This guy will be important later. And invited my friend Levi over from Canada where he streamed from my house while I was gone without me knowing. He is not home and I'm streaming from his computer. He has no clue. <laughs> Later, I got verified on Twitter where I jokingly reached out to some of my favorite artists knowing they would see it until one of them actually responded. Somehow, I ended up playing Battle Wars with this guy, 24K Golden, an artist with millions of fans. Now, at this point, it was April, and earlier that year, I had the genius idea of taking some self-paced classes, meaning that I don't have any deadlines. All I had to do was finish all the work by the end of the year. School ended in a month, and I had about half of it done. April of this year was literally nothing but studying, doing homework, and prepping for exams. It snuck up on me and next thing I knew I was in MCC 21 and despite being on a team that was predicted to do very badly and having no preparation we did great what a, what let's go whatever it's whatever let's go. Go. Oh God, we're still purple our team dude. finished first in coins and I placed third individually but then we got rocked in dodgeball by sapnap and that was that school was now finished which means in May of this year I graduated high school. I finished fourth in my class, the highest guy in my grade, and ended the year still at the top of my high school tennis team. You remember that guy from earlier that I launched the capes with? We're best friends, and we ended up moving in together in May. I'm in that house right now, by the way, so. And after graduating freshly in a new house, I played MCC 22 on the pink parrots with Tommy in it, Ollie and Captain Sparkles. Jordan had played in every single MCC leading up to this point and had lost every single one. So I made it my mission to win. Ooh, oh, it's so good! And rest assured, this event was insane. First, let's go. We placed first overall, and I placed second individually, but it was not over yet. We were matched against Captain Puffy, Awesome Dude, George Not Found, and most importantly, Dream. This guy is undeniably the best dodgeball player, having won all five times he's played it. And I was the guy that had to beat him. So it was up to me to lead our team to a victory. And once we started down one to two, I knew I really had to lock in to win, and Lock in, I did. Let's go! Let's go! Like, what is fun? You beautiful man! We actually won. I had broken the curse of Captain Sparkles losing every single MCC, and I had never felt better in my life. This was only the start to what would end up being the best summer of my whole life, continuing when I was invited to the Twitch Partner Summit in Brooklyn. Here, I met a bunch of my friends for the first time in person, got a sandwich the Aki way, and even flew first class for the first time. Not long after this was something i had been looking forward to for genuinely years, VidCon. Meeting so many of you is sick, and I really wish I had more footage. I just wasn't recording anything. And going to my first convention, being a popular streamer was such a bizarre experience. Trust me, I mean that in a good way. Like these guys in suits were driving me around. I was walking backstage to get to places. It was just so fun. Being on stage for the Dream SMP panel was a phenomenal experience that I will never forget. Especially since I didn't even know I was going to be up there until like 20 minutes before. I won Twitch Rivals, dropped some space merch, went to the weekend concert, which was awesome. MCC 24 was fine. I went to Orlando with my family. MCC 25 was fine. And honestly, what really felt weird was that when summer ended, I wasn't going to school. All of my friends that I'd grown up with for 12 years started leaving, going around the country to go to college, and I wasn't. Because after I graduated high school, I decided to try content creation full-time. And I guess I should have expected this, but it was just such a weird feeling having my friends go 
form new friend groups, go having fun without me. On another note, I was in Quackity's Las Nevadas lore finale. Uh, I played some Roblox horror games. I built this Lego bonsai tree, got a pet, chat named it Dusty, and then I went back to LA for another convention. Carl then convinced me to stay in LA for another 10 days until TwitchCon happened. So I canceled my flight home, booked a new one a week and a half away, stayed in LA, streamed from this random facility that was full of streamer setups, which shut down like a month later, drove down to San Diego, and then TwitchCon. I met a bunch more of you guys. Unfortunately, I got sick for about a day, but then I got to experience probably one of the coolest things in my entire life, playing in a Minecraft event live on stage in front of hundreds of people. And we got last. And once that was done, when I tried to head home, our flight somehow got so messed up that I stayed in the LA airport for six hours, flew to Chicago, stayed there overnight until 6 a.m., flew to New York, stayed there for an hour, and then finally flew home. Once I was home, I celebrated my birthday with a huge announcement, which I will get to later. And not long after that was MCC 26, which was their Halloween event. This introduced a new game called Parkour Warrior, which I actually ended up getting first in. And I played so well that event that I actually ended up placing first in individual for my first time ever, but we didn't make dodgeball. Anyways, the Halloween season had arrived, so I played some horror games and did a Halloween proximity chat Bedwars event while I was looking nice. This began a period of time where for about a month, I was just constantly in Minecraft events for some reason, such as Block Wars 1, where I got second place, Block Wars 2, where I got second place, a speedrunning event with fruit berries, where I got second place, some more Twitch rivals, and then Tubbo's Craftmaster event. Finally, my last MCC of the year was MCC 28, where I went absolutely crazy. I ended up with over 3,600 coins, which was my best by far, but Illumina went a bit more crazy, meaning I got second again. To round out the year, in November, I went to North Carolina to visit Carl and the Mr. Beast crew, which was incredible. Wally and I did a try not to laugh from Carl's house, and we played some Roblox with the whole group. But more than anything, on this trip, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about content creation. I could talk forever about all the things that I have yet to improve, the things I will improve. This year, I've definitely learned a lot about who I want to be and what I want to do, and Carl and Nolan were perfect to talk to about that. I could literally sit here for hours and talk about uh, what I've changed, what's yet to change, and what's in the future, but honestly, I'm just excited for the future. If you're wondering why I haven't uploaded on this channel in five months and what that big announcement was earlier, I've actually started a new channel. I'm doing in-person content. I've been excited about it forever and I'm so glad to finally get started. Don't get me wrong, this channel is not perfect yet, but I'm having a blast doing it and I hope you guys will be along for the ride. And as you can probably tell by the title, this will very, very likely be the last video on this channel, which is really sad to think about. Um, at the time of recording this, we're coming up on the five-year anniversary of the channel. And the main reason I'm not going to be uploading on it anymore is just because it's not my passion. I don't want to make myself play Bed Wars. I don't want to make myself do anything. I want to do what I'm passionate about if I want to be a content creator for the long run. And while I really enjoyed these videos, I really enjoyed the community. Please don't get me wrong about that. I loved it. It's just not for me anymore. And that new IRL channel is going to be that vessel for me to create and be myself. I'm still streaming on Twitch. I'm still going to be in events and everything, but I'm just not going to be uploading on this channel anymore. I hope you guys do end up checking out my new channel. It's in the description. Um, two videos are out right now, but more are to come. Thank you guys so much for everything, whether you subscribed last week or five years ago. Um, I couldn't be here without you. I know it's cheesy, but it's, it's true. Thank you all so, so much. And here's to 2023.